I'm Jasper, half Irish, half English, and I own pizzerias in India. I'm crazy about India, and I'm crazy about pizza, and we're arranging their marriage. Welcome to the great Indian pizza adventure. At the height of their powers, the Nizams of Hyderabad would call chefs from all around the world to cook at the royal court. And now they're calling the pizza pundit to create pizzas using everything that influences Hyderabadi cuisine. The Mughal Persian tradition of the north, the depth of the Deccan, and the basic idea of amazing Hyderabadi hospitality. Okay, so my first move in creating a pizza worthy of a Nizam is to meet an author, food critic, and all-round expert on Hyderabadi cuisine. I'm here to meet Sankalp, a steamed food critic and King Cobra of South Indian food. So Sankal, tell me, in essence, is there such a thing as Hyderabadi cuisine? What does it mean? Where does it come from? About 600 years ago is when the origin of Hyderabadi cuisine started. The Nizam came down to Hyderabad and established his empire. So he wanted to have different kind of dishes from across the globe. In those days, the, the chefs or the cooks are called as Kansamas or the Bawarchis. These people were sent across the world to Middle East, European countries, to Asian countries. All they did was the documenting those recipes and coming back to India, to Hyderabad, to localize some of those recipes. They started using the Guntur chilies from the uh, Guntur, the Andhra region, the peppers from the Kerala region, or Patarka pool, which is very, very uh, indigenous ingredient of uh, Hyderabadi biryani. Yeah. So similar to that, there are a few ingredients which they added to the recipes and recreated and reinvented the recipe and presented it as Hyderabadi Kisi. I see, so it comes in from the Middle East, Europe, Asia, yes. Japan, yes. And, yes. and they're using Deccan ingredients True. to create a specific cuisine. Yes. And do you see it then, was it seen, would you see this as a new cuisine in its own right? I, I would say that, you know, this is the world's latest cuisine. So true pioneers, really, because of the Nizam's interest and the Nizam's assets and resources, genuine yes. pioneers in in food development. True. So there was a lot of research in each of those ingredients and recipes that were invented in the kitchens of Hyderabad. And you you have a great advantage, I think, Sankal. You're part of the royal family, is that right? Yes. So your mother, your grandmother, I guess they they have all these traditions in their mind. Have you have you been able to, to draw it out yes. of them? Unfortunately, documentation of these recipes did not happen in those days. And if so, they were here and there, lost during so many invasions and everything. And today we are all people like uh, me and few other peoples are trying to document whatever recipes which are there. I fortunately uh, documented a lot of recipes from my mom and my grandma. So some of those recipes are like, you know, patar ka ghosh, which is there. Then there's dam ka keema, which is typical Hyderabadi keema, which is cooked on dam. Today you won't find anywhere, anybody serving that, that dish at all. Then there is, uh, Karela mutton, which is a bitter gourd with mutton. And today is one of the recipes which I'm doing, anoki kheer. Today, if you ask anybody about anoki kheer, nobody knows about it. What is it all about? And the moment I say it is onion based, they say, how on earth are you making a desert out of an onion? People freak out, yeah. <laughs> I should say that I am giving this recipe to the world. It's a global scoop for our, for our show. So shall we begin? Yeah, I think so, I'm excited. We'll boil uh, onions. Mm -hmm. with water. We take out the uh, acidity in it. And I have done uh, and kept it We've aside so that we can save the sign. One you made earlier. So this is how it would look. Yeah. Once you boil it, twice boiling it. They see ghee into the... Okay. And... Okay, so you're frying up the nuts. Yes. 
I'm just washing up cashews, almonds, pistachios. If you wish to have raisins, you can also have raisins in it. But I prefer to have all the nuts in it. Uh, I've taken the nuts outside yeah. after frying them. Now I'm adding milk in it. Oh, I see. So that goes straight in on the ghee. Yes. So we'll reduce the milk to half. Okay. So that it becomes a little more thicker and gives you that nice flavor. So now I'm adding the kova to it. So to this now we'll add a little bit of sugar. I'm adding our uh, boiled onion to it. One boil and then we are done with the keep. So our dish is almost ready. Take it out of the flame and plate it for you. So this is the Anoki Kheer for you. Please taste it, let me know your views. It looks wonderful. Thank <laughs> you, Sankar, I'm excited. Should be hard, careful. It's outstanding. Thank you. It's outstanding, it's moorish, it's creamy, it's nutty. You got the cardamom coming through. I could eat that all day long. Comfort. That's a comfort desert for you. Sankam, thank you so much. I came in here knowing very little about Heidi Badi cuisine. I've learned so much more, and, and most importantly, I'm inspired to find out more. It's a huge uh, wealth of cuisines which are there in this part of the country. You, you should explore more and more and let people know more about it. We will, we'll definitely do that. And in the meantime, we're rooting for you as you wander around all these families, trying to get them to, uh, to give you their secret recipes. God bless me. <laughs> God bless you, is right. God bless all of us. Thank you, Thank so, you so much, much. so I appreciate Thank it. Thank, Thank you. Having started with something sweet, I now need to expand my repertoire. And where better than the Andhra Canteen? Once part of Andhra, and now with Hyderabad, the capital of Telangana, experts in all things Hyderabadi. Raj Mohan, Ashish, so wonderful to be here. Yeah. Can you tell me what's going on? Sure. Uh, this one is a Bahubali dosa. That one is a, uh, totally plain. Okay. No spices. Okay. And the other one is a Podi idli. And uh, this one is a Rava dosa. And this one is a Karnataka. It's a Mysore masala dosa. It's okay. called. Okay. Uh, this one is a masala dosa. It's a Andhra. Shall I try something? Yes, sure. Okay. So you've got the samba here. Yeah. And uh, this one is a aloo masala, potato. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, this one is a gunpowder. It's called gunpowder. You can uh, add it ghee also. And what is gunpowder? Uh, chana dal and the spices, guntur chilies. Usually we mix it with the ghee and you can... Uh, it's very spicy. <laughs> I must tell you, it's very spicy. You didn't mean to tell me. I guess that's why it's cool. I have to tell you before. You I guess that's why it's cool. Come yeah. on. One more thing we can add is the ghee. It will uh, spice it. It will reduce the spiciness. Reduce the spices. <laughs> okay. And this is the alam chutney, which is a specialty of Andhra. It's a mix of tanginess and the sweetness. But I don't need any spicy warning. No, no, no. There is no. You yes. don't need any Mixed spiciness. Sweet. sweet and tangy. It's made mm. with ginger. Mm. Ginger. Mm. It's delicious. It's called ginger chutney. Mm. Alam chutney. Mm. That's fun. That's absolutely fantastic. That's delicious, Ashish. Tell me about these. Yeah, you can rava dosa. It's made of suji. Okay, and then yeah. so I've got the same chutney. Same chutney. Yeah, same same sambar or different sambar? Yeah, same. Yeah. I love this ginger guy. Let me try this. Karnataka special. It's called Mysore Masala Dosa. Inside one uh, chilli paste is we base like. This is quite spicy. Yeah, spicy. For this you need a spiciness warning. Because people in Karnataka like the spice. Yeah. More in Andhra. More in Andhra. Ah, okay. Yeah. Mm, it's good. It's very good. Ashish and Raj Mohan, here's my big question is, do you think I can make a pizza using these ingredients? You can make. How would you make it? What's your idea? Ashish? The better will be, the base will be the same. same. But on the ingredients, you can use this potato masala okay. and the chutneys. Instead of tomato sauce, you can use uh, alum chutney. That will taste something unique. If any customers come to you yeah. and he wants a spicy pizza, you can use gunpowder. We, could we don't a... need chili flakes. Instead of chili flakes, you can use gunpowder. Uh, like for the toppings, you can use the vegetables which we use for the sambar, you can use it for the toppings. For example, the sambar onion, which is like a small onion. Okay. The carrots, the drumsticks, all these vegetables, you can use it as a pizza topping and you can create a southern pizza, like Andhra pizza you can create at your home. 
if we're going to go into the pizza business together, I think we need to go and tr taste some other things. Can we go and taste some other flavors, we some have, other dishes? We have definitely. We have a special thali uh, that's called Andhra thali. Okay. So many kinds of vegetables inside it. You can use that uh, vegetables also for your pizza. Everyone is to start first puri okay. and this one curry. It is from uh, Hyderabad. And what's the name? It's a uh, Bagara Baigan. Bagara Baigan. Yes. And what are the ingredients, Rajma? Yeah, it's peanut, groundnut, sesame, sesame yeah. seeds, yeah. and uh, tamarind, brinjal, and uh, cashew also will mix cashew. Yeah. Uh, some uh, uh, spices. Basically, the mixture of all the dry fruits and the spices. <coughs> <coughs> That's Did why. Did you put some gum powder in this? This one is a plain uh, it's a potato. Okay. Uh, it's a, like a dry. Dry, dry fried up. Yeah, dry fried. Another one, this one is a typical Andhra. It's called Telugu Majjik Bulsu. It's a yogurt and onion. Yeah, it's it's a very onion. tasty. Very tasty. Mmm. That's delicious. Yes. Mm. Really dish. The onion and the curd. Yeah. Mm. And what is this? Some turmeric in it? No, it's no, uh, basically it's... the mustard seeds. Uh, so that's the yellow yes. mustard yeah. seeds. Yes. Okay. This one is the Kerala side. Tell me about this. Yeah. It's the beans and uh, carrot. This one is a cabbage and uh, beans. No spicy. Just mild. Mm. I never thought about salads. Yeah. In South Indian cuisines, but these are very subtle and yes. Yeah. This one is a Hyderabad puri. Take puris with the curries. Taste more yeah, better. I see. So, and actually, this here, this is like a mini pizza. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> mini pizza, correct. And uh, we'll start the uh, rice with gunpowder and. This ghee, two mix. Okay, this so two. we take some of this. Yeah, little. On the tomato guy? Yeah, just uh, sides. Yeah. 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 sides. So like down here a little yes. bit, let's say. And put little ghee. This is 100% vegetarian, yes. yes? I mean, I had no idea because I assume that Hyderabad is kebabs, biryani. So usually, Hyderabadi food is all about non veg and Hyderabadi dum biryanis. But uh, we came up with an idea that uh, we can show the no wet side of the Hyderabadi cuisine as well. And it's all vegetarian for the vegetarian people. It's absolutely delicious, gentlemen. Thank you so much. Thank you.